So, um, because of the time of the year, I kind of want to do an eerie poem. Yeah! Very uh, This is for anybody that has a cell phone. The man asked me quietly, how did you know the deceased? Both question and suggestion, I respond, I think I am him. This poem makes mystery out of mortuary. A crime scene reversing a hearse you could fit in your pant pocket. The man says these things happen. Ask me how I got here, to this strange place. I say, I divided my self-worth into parts. Pieces of algorithms advertise this human connection of a community of smiling for anybody but me. But every morning, I open a screen, hoping it'll tell me this world finds me influential. Deserving of their half-hearted thumb presses, imprints worth their weight and my confidence, we found the formula for temporary happiness. Yeah. Put it in the hands of anyone with an internet connection and time to spend. It is a kind of death mm. to base your happiness on notifications. Ding, vibration, say happy birthday to your best friend. Ding, vibration, want to see videos of your ex's vacation. Ding, vibration, you haven't posted in a while. Haven't you been living? Don't you have something worthy of sharing? Do you want to be forgotten? Our biggest fear, but deepest regret, so we touch cold screens to satisfy an itch. An attempt to stay relevant, a daily reminder to ourselves and the world that we are here. If only a facsimile of the honesty we so desperately seek and dying, you only notice when you're trying so hard to prove you are alive and happy and alive and successful and alive and a filtered beauty we stopped caring wasn't real. Nothing says that you matter like 100,000 followers mm -hmm. or a free product. Mm -hmm. We've become the commodity of companies wanting to monetize our contentedness. Mm -hmm. Realize that if they kept happy at arm's length, we never stop reaching, tapping, liking, engaging, only considering the drug we're injecting daily when the next teen or influencer dies from the cancer of comparison thinking suddenly a tool meant for connecting becomes a tragedy we've paused three seconds to read. Before continuing our silent eulogy of bottomless scrolling, we are gathered here today to bow our heads and raise our phones. Close proximity to the dopamine received, read, received, read, rarely does a validation linger. The man says, you're still here. I haven't answered my question. I say I am the deceased. Dying to the parts of me that equates likes or retweets as deserving joy in this journey, I think I understand the metaphor now. Tools can be dangerous. We weren't given instructions on how to handle this level of connectedness. There's no warning on our wasting time. Getting validation from a social media feed is like asking a hammer what it thinks of you. It is an instrument. You can use it to build audiences businesses are real to break down your own sense of happiness. We are subscribing to a brokenness. More followers cannot fix. The man smiles. Says, you were wired for human interaction. No amount of screen time can replace this. I'll take care of this mess. Now go live a life in person. I smirk and say, can I post about it? He says, sure. <laughs> but even if you don't, it still happens. <laughs> No amount of dislikes or unfollows can ever change that. Woo!